Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we are taking on the fight for the Flame Flame Fruit 60 Stammer event against Diamante that comes out periodically at the moment on OPTC Global. So, this particular content came out around the time of Limited Rare Recruit Lucy. So, I've got four teams for you guys today in this video that don't actually use Limited Rare Recruit Lucy. Now, if you have Limited Rare Recruit Lucy, I will link in the description. Um, my team that I did use when this event first dropped, but I would definitely farm up this event as you do want to get your hands on the support of this Barto. So if we go to the new feature, I love this feature so much. We can actually search up Barto and this particular support unit here is what you guys get as well as a whole bunch of gems. So make sure you guys are doing this at least five times. Here's support will activate if the enemy does like the the cranky face or attack up he heals by 8600 and then reduces damage over 3000 for one turn he also goes on to nico robin rebecca or sabo so he's very very good and he's an excellent free-to-play support just to, for you guys to have in your arsenal so the first team that i have for you guys in this video is a v3 boa team the only thing really to note on this team is you will need either the support of um the Straw Hat Pirates or Corazon, as you do want to remove the bind that gets inflicted on the Burgess stage. Now, I don't have any threshold removal on this team, so I would replace this Alveda with someone that does threshold. The thing about this content is too, though, is you can't use an attack boost or a color affinity boost on the final stage, but utilizing the free-to-play units of Rebecca and Jesus Burgess, there are ways of getting around that. So this team worked very, very well as the super typing doesn't trigger the interrupt, but I would replace Alveda with someone that can um, remove the threshold, someone like maybe Uso Hachi or the Summertime Robin would work very, very well here as well. The next team we have is a V3 Law team. We are using the Summertime Robin here to remove the threshold. We have the support of Legend Bardo to remove the paralysis that gets inflicted on the final stage. And we have the support of Garp on our Kuzan to remove the special bind as well. So this team did very, very well. Uh, Don Creek and Jin are an excellent rare recruit. Even though Rebecca's not getting buffed, she works excellently on this team as her special is actually going to extend the attack buff for two turns as long as your captain is either a strength or a psi unit. So she works really, really well as you can't get an attack buff on the final stage. And Law having Corazon support can remove the uh, bind that gets inflicted on stage four as well. The next team is my boy, Shanks Crew. This team worked exceptionally well as well. We are using Don Creek and Jin again. The final stage, uh, Don Creek's really, really good as they're going to remove the paralysis and give you an orb buff. Karina's here to rem uh, remove the threshold. We have Sabo and Koala for their block orb removal and to just blast through Bardo. Another reason we're using them is so we can use the support of Halloween Ace to remove the bind, which is really, really handy. And then finally, we have the Rebecca once again. The Rebecca is excellent for this, mainly because she has this support as well, where she reduces the duration of removed sound effects by five turns. That is like real, real clutch. It's like burn and barriers. They just, they suck. I hate it so much, but it's my hate, most hated debuff. And any character that has that as a crewmate ability, I always love running. Finally, the last team we are utilizing the dream team of Roger and Odin. This team worked exceptionally well, like had so much damage, even though we didn't even have orbs. We are using the Burgess on this team as well as the Rebecca. Burgess is great for the final stage and you can use the Lafitte support to remove the bind as well. With this team, I don't actually have full bind sockets, but I actually put the Rayleigh on my Luffy as well, just to show you guys that there are two ways to get around the bind, but lucky for me, I actually needed the four turn or the three turns. So finally we have Odin and Roger, they just have stat boosters, and then we have Luffy to remove the paralysis. So let's hop in, let's check out the content and let's see how the team's performed. Make sure you guys are getting this done. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure to bash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new. Um, we have lots of fun around here. So let's hop in. All right guys, so we're gonna be moving into stage three against Barto now. So Barto is actually going to give us a full board of block orbs, and he's actually going to special seal our entire crew for three turns. He also has a counter mechanic, but he only attacks every two turns. So with the first team we have is the boa team. On stage two, we come up against a bunch of um, horned fish. Um, so be careful with those guys because they um, they can do a lot of damage and they do a big HP cut at the beginning. So just be mindful of that. You do really want to stall out as much as you can on the first turn. So on Bardo with this team, we're going to use our Boa Special. Utilizing the Boa Special can activate the Super Typing as well as giving us two turns of cooldowns for our crew members, which is really, really good. We're going to use the Super Typing of Boa here. And that way we can get a full board of matching orbs. And then we can just do as much damage as we possibly want to Bardo. Now, the thing with Bardo is here, I don't actually want to kill him. I do want to utilize the two turns. That way um, we can basically move into the next stage without any of the special bind. But with this particular team here, we do have Garp on this team. So Garp is going to help us out with removing that special bind if we need it. 
On the fourth stage, we come up against Jesus Burgess. Burgess is going to bind all of our units or all of our crewmates for five turns. So this is where the support of either Corazon on Law or the Straw Hat Pirates on Chopper is going to come into play massively. Now, as you can see, I am still special blinded, unfortunately, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, but it's really not the end of the world as we do have a full um, side team against uh, Jesus Burgess. So with this particular team, we are just going to use the special of Garp. That way we can get a HP cut, a chain lock, and remove that special blind. But we do have to actually hit two perfects, unfortunately. Now we are, uh, we do have a burn, and there is a perfect barrier. But with this team, we actually have um, the super typing of Boa, and we have barrier pen with our Boa units. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna use my color affinity buff, so that way we can get color affinity of um, for our free spirit units, with this, which basically this whole team is. And then we can sort of just make our way through and destroy with uh, Barrier Pen, because Garp and the Boas have Barrier Pen. So that works really, really well on that stage. You probably don't even need the color affinity buff uh, that Alveda provides. I just wanted to make sure that I had the damage. On the final stage, we come up against Diamante. Diamante turns into an int unit, gives us a full board of int orbs, paralyzes us for three turns, as and has three turns of the oh i didn't bring anyone to remove that i'm a spoon oh no all right well this might be a rip but it is what it is let's just see if we can actually just do this so we're going to remove the paralysis with chopper chopper's going to give us some auto heal too so let's see if we can actually just stall out the three turns of um chain the what's it called the threshold all right so we're going to take a 20 percent damage cut and then he does some end of turn damage, which isn't the end of the world, as we can just continuously heal back up. Cool. So ideally with this team, you want to replace Alveda with someone that can remove that uh, threshold cut. Someone like the new uh, Rayleigh would work really, really well. Or the new Jesus Burgess that actually is free to play, he would work really, really well here too. So now that the threshold's gone, we can use our Boa Super Typing. The Boa Super Typing is going to give us a full board of orbs. And we can use her special, so that way we can get some more cooldowns, which doesn't really matter. And then we can use our law special to get a chain lock, as well as an orb buff. And with that, we should just absolutely clap Diamante. See ya. Diamante does have a end of turn mechanic, but it doesn't really do too much. He sort of just dies. So that was the Boa team. Not exactly the best team in the world, as Alveda just kind of doesn't need to be there. So just replace her with someone that can remove the threshold, and you guys should be good to go. The Bardo stage, we can use a Law Special here to give us a full board of orbs, as well as give us a Chain Lock as well. And that way we can just tear our way through Bardo in the first turn, save the orbs for the next stage against Jesus Burgess. Against Jesus Burgess, he has a two turn perfect barrier. He is an int unit and binds all of our crewmates for five turns. He also removes the sound effects and gives us a burn as well, which sucks. But with Corazon on Law, we can remove the, um, the bind. And what we can actually do here is we can use our Kuzan special. Now, on the final stage, we can't use attack buffs. So bringing someone like Roger or using the super type of Bowl works really, really well. Or you can actually use this effect that Rebecca has to extend the attack buff that we have into the final stage, as long as your captain is a strength or a Psy unit. Finally, what we're, what we're actually going to do here is we are going to switch with Don Krieg and Jin, And then we're going to use the Don Krieg and Jin, Jin special for our orb boost. Now that burn is around 8,000, so you do need to be very, very careful when you hit your perfects. So attack with Rebecca first, that way you can hit the perfect with her. And then after that, just hit greats, as it's about an 8k burn. But with Law, getting that 5k healing back every turn, just absolutely monstrous healing with the Liberal Hind as well. Just helps out a lot. On the final stage against Diamante, he's going to turn into a Dex or Int unit. We do want to turn him to normally turn into an Int unit with this team, but I mean, Law can output a lot of damage, so it's not really the end of the world. So what we're going to do on this particular stage here, we're going to switch back into our Krieg, and with the effect of the Bardo on Robin, we can remove that Paralysis. Or with the Summertime Robin, she can remove the Threshold. She's also going to change our, all of our orbs into Int Orbs, as she has an Int Orb. But because they are un, unmatching, technically, we can use the Law Special to turn them into matching, get a full board of orbs. We still have the Attack Boost from um, Kuzan. And then we have the chain lock from Law. Now we still need to be careful about 
the burn as well as they do the death mechanic of diamante will trigger that burn so you do need to be really really careful here so just hit hit your greats but once you get down to your last two units you can actually hit perfects with lore as this team actually has enough hp to actually tank that burn plus with the 5000 for healing from lore you will be fine but I don't even actually think the burn goes through, so I wasn't 100% sure if that would work or not, but as you saw, like, it just didn't go through, so don't really worry about that, disregard what I just said, and just clap him with perfects. And so for the next team, we are using my boy, Shanks Crew. Shanks Crew is really, really good here, as his uh, switch ability isn't going to trigger the attack buff interrupt that um, Diamante puts at the final stage, and utilizing Sabo Koala with the support ability of uh, Halloween Ace, we can get around the color affinity as well. So what we're going to do here is, on the Bardo stage, we're just going to use our Sabo Koala special. That way we can get an attack buff for our Free Spirit and Cerebral units. And then what we can just do is, just basically just tear our way through Bardo. We're going to get a full board of orbs too, as Sabo Koala does rotate block orbs as well. So that's really, really handy. On to the next stage now, we come up against Jesus Burgess. Against Jesus Burgess, he binds our crew for five turns, puts up eight turns of burn, and gives the remove sound effects debuff, but that's not a worry as we do have Rebecca's amazing crewmate ability. Oh, excuse me. Um, the, what's it called? The crewmate, yeah, crewmate ability. I guess that's what we call Sailor ability. So what we can do here is we can switch with one of our Shanks crews. That way we can get the attack buff. And then we're going to use our other Shanks Crew special to give us a chain lock. Now, we do have to be very, very careful here as the burn from Jesus Burgess is around 8k, as mentioned in the last team. So, be very, very careful here. Um, but with the switchability of Shanks Crew and the um, 35 times chain lock, we should have enough damage to take him out. So, make sure you hit your two perfects at the beginning. And with the chain lock, we can just hit greats to take him out with our color affinity. Karina has an amazing... Sailor ability as well as if you don't hit a perfect, she keeps her orb. But once you get to the end stage against Diamante, we are going to get a full board of int orbs anyway. Diamante turns into a int or dex unit, which is really, really handy that he is the int variation for us here. So what we can do on this particular stage is we can use the switch ability of Sawa Koala. That is going to give us a color affinity buff. We can switch with Shanks Crew to get an attack buff. We can use the Shanks Crew special to give us the 4.5 times Rainbow Captain. Don Krieg and Jin, they're gonna remove the paralysis and give us an orb buff. Then we can finish it off with Karina's special here. Karina is going to, oh, she rotates orbs. I totally forgot about that. That is pretty frustrating, but it's not the end of the world. So we do need to remember that we do have that burn still, but it shouldn't matter too much. So let's just hit our perfects and let's kill Diamante. If you guys can tell, I'm kind of over this content. Like, it's been doing my head in. I am at work too, so like, it's it's a pain in the butt. But Shanks Crew gets it done very, very easily. You don't even need the Rebecca special, but you can use that on the turn before, I guess. All right, guys, so moving to the final team now, we are using the Roger Odin combo. The Pirate King himself, the man, the myth, the legend, that is Goldie Roger. So on stage three against Bardo, we do get special binded and we don't really have a way around that. So what we're actually gonna do here is we're gonna use the super typing of Roger. So that way we can get a full board of orbs and we are just gonna take the two turns on Bardo here, just so we can make sure that we um, basically just stall out that uh, special bind. With the lock mechanic that Roger provides as well as the Bardo too, we can sort of keep our orbs um, and that way we can sort of just clap Bardo pretty easily. When we get into the next stage against Jesus Burgess, he is a inch unit who binds all of our crew for five turns. If you have max sockets, it'll go down to two, but with my team, I don't have max sockets. So I use Lafitte and I use Rayleigh here to remove all of the bind there. If you have max sockets, you don't need both of them. You can just use one. So what we're going to do on this particular stage here is we are going to use the uh, special of Roger so we can get our attack boost. And with that, we have heaps of... Heaps of um, HP to get through the barrier, but with the um, effect of Odin, he actually has barrier pen. So like we can just totally destroy Jesus Burgess with the super typing of Roger, as well as a full border orbs and that massive, massive attack buff. Onto the final stage against Diamante, he either turns into an int or a dex unit. Lucky for us, he turned into a uh, int unit. Gives us a full border int orbs and does a threshold cut. So the way we're gonna get around that for this particular team is we're going to use the Jesus Burgess special. 
Jesus Burgess is going to remove that threshold and give us a 2.5 times chain lock. We can then use the super typing of Roger. With the full border orbs, we can turn them into Wano orbs, thanks to our boy Kazuki Odin. And then we can use the Roger special to give us a massive attack buff. Now, normally you wouldn't be able to use an attack buff, but Roger, Roger, he built different. He built way different and he just says, nope, not today. We do get our orbs locked, unfortunately though, but with um, Odin having the ability to remove that, we can sort of just say, well, sorry, but we're gonna keep that. And because we have two Rogers, we can actually use the color affinity buff here. So normally we would cop another Haki, but we have two Rogers on this particular team. So we can just say no, once again, no, not today. And Eve, like literally just with that, you guys are about to see how much like damage Roger can output as a captain. Like we don't even have orbs. Like we don't even have orbs for this particular team. It's just nuts. So it works very, very well. Um, that's the team that I'll be running if you guys have the units. Um, a lot of supports are needed, but the whole concept of this was to not bring the limited rare recruit Lucy. If you have limited rare recruit Lucy though, he is built for this particular piece of content. Run double uh, him. There is a video on the channel that I will link in the description. It'll um, it'll do it fairly well too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to hit the like button if you want to stay up to date with more OPTC content I post. Hit that big red subscribe button too, but guys, most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. As always, I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!